Hey, fifth grade. Um, I am so excited to be back here with you today. We are doing our second second step lesson, and today it's called Listening with Attention. So before we get started, remember this is, again, my virtual counseling office, and we will start with some affirmations, and I might even change these, or maybe you can, you guys can help me. Okay, so ready? You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. Guys, you are going to see me so many times on this lesson, have to exit out of a window, get back in a window. It's okay. If I, if I wanted to be perfect, I would have to record this lesson so many times before I could get it perfect, and I probably still couldn't get it perfect. So whatever happens, happens, and we're just going to deal with it. Welcome. Have fun. The best view comes after the hardest climb. Be brave, be kind, and be grateful, and also lead on because we are a leader in me school. So let's keep going. All right. So today we are continuing a second our second step lessons, and we'll, we will be doing them every single week. Last week we talked about empathy and respect. For this lesson today, we're going to learn about listening with attention. Over the next several weeks, you're going to be learning and practicing skills to improve learning, get along with others, and manage emotion, and solve problems. So I'm really excited today about um, listening with attention. I've noticed that I always have to remind myself to be a good listener. Um, it's really easy because we have devices, we have our iPhones, we have our computer, we have so many different things, and it's really easy to get distracted, and it's really easy to 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 just not be able to listen because we have so many things going on. So we're just going to talk about listening today. All right, so before we get started, we're going to go over, um, we're going to watch this video about virtual classroom rules. I know we watched it last time, but we're going to watch it again to remind ourselves how we should be listening and how, and make sure that we're ready before we get started. Welcome to your classroom. Usually, when we start school, we're able to meet our friends and our teacher in a classroom in the school building. This year will be a little bit different. We'll see our friends and our teacher on the computer, or as we like to say, virtually. Let's talk about our virtual class rules. We have four rules. Number one, be ready. Two, go to your study area. Three, microphone muted, camera on. Four, be respectful. Number one, be ready. This means being on time, being dressed, and having a smile on your face ready to learn. Number two, go to your study area. We want you to have a nice quiet place where you can work with no distractions, no toys, no TV, no food. Rule number three, microphone muted, camera on, so you're, you can see your teachers and your friends. Rule number four, be respectful. This means raising your hand when you want to speak, listening to your teacher and classmates, and really thinking about your learning. With these four rules, we'll be ready to learn, ready to have fun, and able to learn just as much as we would if we were in a classroom with our teacher and classmates. Okay, you guys. I bet y'all have all four of those things ready. Okay, so remember last week we talked about the respectful listening rules. They're called focus attention and listen. Be sure to use both of these during our lesson, okay? And every week what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building on the skills that we've learned previously. So the previous week we're going to be building those skills, so we're always going to review Okay, so now we're gonna watch this video called Walk, Walk, Walk. And um, what I want you guys to do is I want y'all to count how many times you hear the word empathy, and this is part of our review. So like I told you before, I'm gonna exit out of this and go to our second step um, song right here, and we're gonna listen, okay? Okay, here we go. So remember, count how many times you hear the word empathy, okay? I want to just dance during this. <laughs> Changing 
was like nine or ten give me a thumbs up if you agree awesome okay so we're gonna go back to our presentation okay so all right empathy equals respect this is our review from last week when you're being kind to someone else and thinking about how they're they're feeling you also have the ability to be respectful to them okay so now we're gonna practice um, listening with a brain builder. So remember we did this last week and the directions are for you to look at the emojis or the pictures and try to figure out what the food is. And some of these are like really hard and I'm looking at my phone because I have a lesson script that can help me. It's right here. <laughs> so I'm not looking away from the lesson. I'm just trying to figure out what where I am in the lesson. So um, so yeah, so we're going to see what these are and I want you guys to um, remember to mouth the answers or draw a picture or write the picture and show me what you got. Okay. And remember, we're going to practice listening with attention when we do this. Okay. And I'm going to fast forward it to where we were last week. We did this one. Okay, we're here. Okay. I see some, I see some, yep, I see some of you guys saying what it is. What is it? Moon pie, give me thumbs up if you got that. Okay, let's do like four more. Okay, I was so, I already tried this one and I was so silly I couldn't get it. So this is actually water and this is lemon. I thought it was like lemon squirt or something, but it's it's pretty, you'll be like, what? When, when you see it, see what the answer is. Okay, let's see what it is. Lemonade, give me a thumbs up if you got it. Nice, I did not get that the first time. I don't know why, I just couldn't do it. Okay, I did get this one. I bet you guys can can get this one. I'll give you a hint. It's what you eat when you watch movies, or you can get it at the movie theater. What do you think? I see some people mouthing it. Yes, popcorn. Get it. 
Okay, let's do this one. Okay, this one is makes me mad a little bit because that is a that's a coconut tree. But let me give you a hint. Pretend this is a pine tree. So what do you think it is now? What do you think? Good job, guys. Pineapple. If you got that, give me this. Nice job. Okay, so now we're going to do this. This is going to be our last one for today. So this is, I, I was like, fire, but no. Pretend this is hot. What do, what do you think it is? Hot dog. Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Awesome job, you guys. Okay. All right. Great job listening during those videos. I'm so proud of y'all. Focusing your attention and listening helped you know and hear the riddles of the video. Just like with any of the skills you mentioned, you will get better at listening with attention and practice. Today, you're going to identify the important things to do when you're listening. Okay. This is going to be extra important while you guys are learning from home. And I know I say that a lot, but it's true. It's very true. Okay, so we're gonna watch this video. Um, and I'm gonna tell you guys this. Okay, so we're gonna watch a video about a student who's not listening very carefully to his friend. And we're gonna watch for all the thing Caden does that gets in the way of him listening with attention to his friend. Okay, and I will tell you guys, I have an issue sometimes when I'm talking to my husband. I'm on my phone sometimes, and I need to really work on listening. So I am going to be watching and learning right along with you guys. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna escape out of here, and we're gonna watch the part one of the video right here. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so tomorrow after school you're coming over to my house, right? We can work on a science project. Man, I'm hungry. If I get to go to Antonio's house, maybe I can play his new video game. That'd be so cool. I wonder what it's like. Hey, DeAndre! Cool, look at his new shoes. They won't let you on without him. I wonder when class starts. I hope I'm not late. Okay, it's really important. Oh, um, sorry, Antonio. I wasn't listening very carefully. Is what you said important? Uh-oh. So I do this sometimes when my husband's trying to talk to me. Okay, so let's go back to our presentation, and let's talk about what happened in the video. Okay. So, Caden was not listening with attention. Um, I could tell Caden was not listening with attention because he was thinking about how he was hungry. Guys, guess what? I'm hungry right now, too. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about that a little bit while we do this lesson. <laughs> and I know it's normal to be thinking about that. We just have to remind ourselves to focus. So think about how he was hungry. He was thinking about how he could play video games. Um, he wasn't looking at Antonio when he was talking. He kind of saw his friend and noticed his cool new um, backpack. Um, he was, he could hear that what Caden was, um, thinking, but he was thinking about other things. And I bet you guys can realize that Antonio felt kind of upset, annoyed, mad, frustrated. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. He, I see a lot of thumbs up. He kind of agreed and he kind of felt frustrated and upset when he wasn't listening. And, um... <laughs> It's funny because I have the same thing happening to me. I need to be a better listener. But I'm just thinking about all the things that I need to do. All the th like I have a lot of responsibilities. And it's important just to be present. I have to remind myself a lot to be present and focus on what's happening right in front of me. So it's important to treat your friends with respect. Listening um, with attention is a way to show we care about them and what they are saying. So maybe some of the things Caden can do to make sure he's listening with attention is he can focus on the words that Antonio is saying, and maybe he can also um, be present. So let's see. 
All right. So, so maybe not interrupting, asking questions to find out more, um, maybe repeating what he heard to show that he understands. I know one of the skills I learned to be a counselor is that when someone's talking, you can repeat or reflect what they're saying back to them and it, and it helps you know. So for example, if a friend's like, dude, here's what I did on Roblox, or can you believe like what I did on Minecraft the other day? You can be like, oh wow, that's so cool that you did that on Minecraft. It shows that you're listening and you know what they're saying. So um, Antonio is going to give his friend Caden another chance to listen with attention. We're going to watch the next video and follow along to see if he's listening with attention and we're going to see what things he does. So I'm going to get out of this video and I'm going to go back to part two. Okay, so we're going to listen to this. Okay, here we go. Let's see if he does a better job and let's focus on what he does to be a good listener. Oh, um, sorry, Antonio. I was listening very carefully. Is what you said important? <sighs> okay, so tomorrow you're coming over to my house after school. We can work on the science project. If your mom says it's okay, you can stay for dinner. After the bell rings, we can meet at the back doors where the buses are. But you have to remember to bring a note, or else you can't ride on the bus. Okay, so what should the note say? It should say that you have permission to ride my bus. All right, so we'll meet at the back door after the bell rings. I'll have a note, we'll work on the science project, and then I'll stay for dinner at your house if my mom says it's okay. Great, you got it. All right, yeah. Cool, tomorrow will be fun. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I noticed that he was using eye contact. I noticed that he was repeating back to Antonio what he was telling him would happen. And he even asked more clarifying questions of like, what would the, what should the note say? So, um, unfortunately, I think sometimes what happens with listening is we don't listen the first time and we either make a mistake or something happens and we get upset about it, but then it teaches us that we need to listen. So I don't want that to happen to you. So I think it's important that we notice what Antonio's doing and also what his friend's doing. So what, what I think that we've learned, and give me a thumbs up if you agree, is that when you listen, you can have eye contact, and you can nod, and, or you can give me a thumbs up if you agree. Um, we can repeat what the person is saying, and we can ask clarifying questions. Give me a thumbs up if you agree. All right. Oh, and also he didn't interrupt, and he showed that he understood. So listening with attention, is an important skill for learning. It also shows you care about what the other person is saying and is respectful, okay? Alrighty, so now we're gonna go to our next slide. So let's review our skills that we just learned. Today you learned and practiced the skills for lis listening with attention. They're focusing on the person's words, they're not interrupting, they're asking questions to find out more and repeating what you heard to show you understand. So let's say that one more time together. Ready? Focus on the person's words. Don't interrupt. Ask questions to find out more and repeat what you heard to show you understand. Why is it important to listen with attention? It goes back to our other lesson. It's respectful. It helps you learn. It shows you care about what the other person is saying. And a time that's important to listen with attention is when the teacher is giving directions or explanations, when you're working with another student or group of students, that's a really important time to listen with attention, okay? Especially right now while you're at home and your teacher is talking to you on a screen, it's really important to, to listen, um, especially right now. Okay, so now we're gonna wrap up our lesson and it says listening with attention skills. Focus on the person's words, don't interrupt, ask questions to find out more, and repeat what you heard to show that you understand. So, when you listen with attention to others and respect their ideas, you're responding in a respectful way towards others. So, I want you to think about a time that it's really Im important to listen with attention to another person. Give me a thumbs up when you know. If you thought about, um, put your finger on your nose if you thought about when your parents are talking to you. Um, touch your outer corner of your eye if you thought about when your teacher's talking. 
Um, touch your forehead if you thought about when your friend's talking to you. Good job, you guys. I think that there's, there's never a time that you shouldn't be listening. I think that's the moral of the story. All right, so now we're going to um, watch Active Listening, the Communicating Olympics. And this is a really fun video that'll show different ways that you can communicate. And, um, and it'll also show, let's see if it shows anything extra that we didn't learn in our lesson today. Hello, and welcome to the Communication Olympics, where kids are tested to see who can speak up and listen well. I'm your host, Walker Walter. And I'm your host, Melissa Marissa. First, we have John Rigby. Last year, he famously took out his cell phone while Frankie Richardson was telling him about how her cat, Mr. Pickles, had diabetes. It's like he didn't even care about what she had to say at all. We have our judges scoring our athletes on a scale of 1 to 10. This is the listening events, so judges will be looking for proper active listening technique. Judges are looking for eye contact and nodding. You also have to give someone undivided attention, meaning you're actually trying to understand what the person is saying. Asking questions and making acknowledging statements also leads to a high score. Let's take this to our woman on the ground, Carissa Callahan. Carissa? John is engaging in conversation with his friend Valentina. So, Steph just left me. I didn't have anyone to see the movie with, and she didn't even say sorry. Like, we've been friends since she moved in across she the street. Didn't? Yeah, it's like really messed up. Love that question asking. He would have gotten a higher score for restating what Valentina's original concern was and asking a clarifying question. But overall, it shows he's engaged. I have like three hours of homework. Oh no! It looks like a really, really cool caterpillar is climbing pretty close to John's sandwich. Look at those colors! This is a very cool caterpillar. Let's see what happens. Videos together. Oh, hey, cool. Look at this caterpillar. Hey, look at what? He wants to talk about that very cool caterpillar because he's no longer interested in the conversation, uh -oh. but also wants to be a good friend to Valentina. Hey, you know, that really sucks. Have you tried telling her how you feel and that you're upset? I haven't. It's pretty cool of you to hear me out like this. Let's get to Mr. Roberts. And he recovers. John clearly did the right thing by not getting distracted, even if he was getting bored. Then he nailed it with a great introspective question. Judges give it an 8.2. <laughs> he was docked a few points for looking away, and we could have seen John stating the concern back to her. Back to you, Melissa Marissa. Wow, that really was a great caterpillar. Next up, we're looking for effective <laughs> communication style. Like how someone sounds when they talk? Definitely not, Walker. Judges are looking for assertive communication, which means being direct and honest about what you want without using any put-downs or making someone feel bad. That's what That's I meant. <clears throat> Today, we're looking at Natasha Stevens. Let's jump right in as we see her being pushed to take money from her parents' money jar in the kitchen. Uh -oh. Dude, the money's right in the kitchen. Take ten bucks so we can go get gulpies at Fasty Mart. I don't really want a gulpie. Yeah, right. Uh-oh. We know Natasha. She's not being direct enough. She doesn't want to steal from her parents. She does really want a gulpie. If we were at my house, I'd do it. Okay, y you know, maybe they won't notice. This is classic passive communication. Scores very poorly with judges. Wait, wait. It looks like Natasha might turn this around because she's literally turning around. Dude, you know what? It's not right to steal from my parents. It's not worth losing their trust. I don't know if you can come over if you're going to act like this. And, by the way, I... Always want a gulpy. Okay, I hear you. I haven't seen a comeback like that since Skip Levinson in the 68 games. Perfect example of assertive communication. Judges give it an 8.9. She started out passively. She gave in and said yes, even if she didn't want to. Maybe she can try yelling at him next time to make him feel bad for stealing. That's what we call aggressive communication, yeah. and it too scores poorly with judges. When you're responding out of rage or fear, you can hurt someone's feelings and even violate their rights. When she turned around, it was classic assertive communication. She was direct about how she felt, even if it was hard to say. 
That's all the time we have today. I'm Marissa Melissa. And I'm assertively communicating that we're out of time. Nice try, Walt. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that was such a good video. Guys, I loved also how even though his friend disagreed that she should steal money, he still said, okay, I hear you. Because it's important, even when you disagree with someone, that you're also actively listening and listening with attention. Okay, so here's some extended practice. Um, you can try this at home with your parents. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but um, this is just an idea. So you can see how great your parents are or your family members or your guardian or whoever you you are with. You can see how um, good they are at listening and check off the skills that they did. And then you can also practice your skills. Okay. That is the end of our lesson, guys. It was such a great, great lesson. And it was great to see you and talk to you. And I can't wait till I see you at school soon. Bye.